Oh, are we going over? Oh, we're going over. Wow. Okay, boat. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we continued our clothing quest, acquiring the very sleek, very tight, very sensual tingle outfit. And goodness gracious, I'm going to sport it for at least a little bit longer as we peruse the rest of the map, which I have marked the location of four more clothing items on. You'll see here we've got two in Hebra, one off East in Lanayru, and then one in Faron, which is actually where we're going to start today, since that is where we are the closest to. Now, given that there are four total uh, pots on my map, uh, they are the spots for the clothing. You see what I did there? You understand me? Uh, they are two separate outfits, and they will be the final two outfits, I believe, that are part of a set. Everything else that we get after these four items, these four pieces of clothing, will be singular. Uh, now, they may still be singular pieces of clothing that are, you know, part of completing a clothing set, but there are two sets specifically I have, the frostbite and the rubber, that are missing two whole pieces. So, it's a little bit disappointing that, like, uh, the Majora's Mask, for example, doesn't have a complete set. But, you know, I guess there's only so much room for nostalgic fan service, isn't there? So, oh, we are not as close as I thought. Goodness gracious, I'm about to say, all right, so we need to, like, go two feet. No, we need to go a mile south. And, and then some. Uh, and as I understand it, very much like yesterday's episode and the one prior, these clothing chests are going to be housed inside of caverns. So we need to keep our eyes peeled for one once we get a little bit closer. Now, this here is not an area I've spent a whole lot of time in. What's more, this guy is living here. Do we have a photo of the big beefer? Uh, no, we do not need to ascend. Black Enox, we have photographized him. Wakey, wakey. I have to takey, takey. Your eyeball. Give me that. Ha-ha. <laughs> All right. Weapon time. What should we smite this boy with? Should we poke him with the strong? Oh, it was my plan all along. Let's charge this up and give him the back scratching he needs. That's his booty meat, Link. All right. Someone asked for back scratching. You start poking at the cheeks like that, you won't get arrested. Thankfully, he's dead, so he can't be arresting anyone. We got... Royal Broadsword, which is great. We don't have the room for it. We don't. Oh, we do have the room for it. What are you talking about? <laughs> a roasted whole bird. Still got steam coming off of it. How early or how soon did he eat that? This whole bird has been tickled by an open flame. I think it's done a little bit more than when tickling. Hey, I'm no, I'm no ticklish expert, but goodness gracious. I've done a tickler time or two, and I sure as heck didn't end up looking like that. Is that a... I could have sworn I just saw, like, a blue light over here. It probably was just a falling platform. Uh, let's, let's swap out our weapon real quick. Before I forget, I don't want to uh, use up all of its goodness on random dangdom enemies. You know what I'm saying? Pharaoh is beautiful. <clears throat> Holy cow. I mean, rain is not, like, everyone's jam. I, least of all, I don't really care for rain, especially being inside of it. But viewing it... In a place that is is safe from it, I quite like. And I also quite like bananas. Oh, I, I was gonna help you, but I want I want the bananas first. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got photos of the bananas. We do have photos of bananas. We've been hanging out with bananas for a long time. Okay, are you still getting assaulted? We can we can help you out with this. Here, stop biting people. All right. Hey, don't hit me, lady. I'm trying to help you, and I'm slaughtering crickets as well. All right, last one. Good night. Uh, dragon bone shield? Yes. Stick? Yes. And of course, we already have his horns. We have so many black book goblin horns. Do you want to give us, like, a food or something? Are you in that sort of mood or something? You're a strong one. I wouldn't want to be in the monster's shoes right now. Because he's dead. Ha! It was my destiny that brought us together here. And destiny that I give you this is thanks. Don't fight fate now. This pumpkin stew grants a low-level defense boost. Nice. Well, thank you. I'm still traveling the world in search of Misko's treasure. Rumors say there's a piece hidden in a cave around here. Treasure hunting's never as easy as we seekers would like. Oh, yes! I am after that exact cave, in fact. We are right upon it. 
So I I used a little bit of a guide to place markers down for where the cave should be, but there's no telling whether or not that is uh, completely accurate. We got fire fruit up there. Yeah, let's uh, let's grab some. Uh, fire fruit is the fruit that I use the most. Not even just considering like the elemental fruits, like the shock fruit, fire fruit, and ice fruit of of the tr the trio. Of course, it is the most, but just like I use them more than apples. Like here, can we can we sort? Uh, no. Don't throw the master sword, please and thank you. I want to throw. Yeah. So if we look at the fruit here, sort by most used. Fire fruit is indeed the most used fruit. Unless, of course, you consider a bomb flower a fruit, but it's described as a flower. Oh, and I'm described as someone who's about to get electrocuted. Uh, no thank you, please. I'd rather not. Uh, we gotta put Hudson on our back. He's gonna get water damage. And then we can put this guy here. And how's our bow situation? Perfect. Let's get rid of this one. Okay, so... Map. Where is this? Right up here? So this little plateau-like thing probably has a cave in it in some capacity. It's probably this thing right here! Hi! Open Sesamo Discovery! The Sarjan Woods Cave. Well, looks like we need a Bodie. Bodie McBoatface, come here! It's time to race! What do we have in our history that would be... Well, we do have... We have this, a headlight raft? How expensive would that be? 18? It's kind of wide set, isn't it? Let's take a second here to reevaluate. Perhaps we can get something else. So that's 18. If we look in our history, we've got this one, which has got to be. Yeah, it's half as much and it's not as wide. Boom shakalaka. That's the one that we need. And I'm not even going to turn it on. Just what was that? Was that thunder? You all right out there? You know, Bo? <laughs> be a little Benjamin Franklin lightning rod. Could we? Can we do something here to remove these before we get there? Can we burn them? Yes, we can. Whether or not that ruins them, I'm not certain. Please. There we go. I was like, please. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch fire. Oh, I'm going to. Okay, I didn't catch fire. Thank goodness. You there. Get in the water. You need a bath. You smell like garbage and onions. All right. That's disgusting. Let's light some more of these on fire so that we can continue. And perhaps even perspire. Because it's so gosh darn warm! We have photo, forgot, photo, photos. Black horrible and horn! Delicious. And what's that? You, you smell that? I smell. Onions! Get off the ceiling, son! You must bathe! Don't you come near me with that garbage breath? Sick boy. Goodness gracious. You gotta like, chew on a mint sprig or something before you get all up in my face. It's very rude. No! No, 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 no! Get back in the water! Goodness gracious, didn't you see how the filthy boy dropped in there? Filthy boys everywhere! They must bathe! Or drown! Either which way, it's fine! <laughs> it's all the same. Photos of the desecrated corpses. No, these corpses are all... all documented. Now, where is our prize? I did see... the little, like, banister thing for the clothing back there. What is this? What is that? Hold the phone. Can we grab that? What is that? I want it to come with me. I don't know what you are, but you're our friend now. Oh, are you our friend? Yeah! I, I barely, I did some, some bullet time there. Okay, this is not necessarily going out. Very well. Get on the platform, Link, before we burn or drown or worse. Are we going to make it? Come on, all right, you guys go first. Now our turn. Maybe. What? Looks like we should clear that. What is the meaning of this? Our friends are leaving us, Link! Fine, let's recall ourselves real quick, and then we can steer our way through this opening. Fine, you know, some things just have to be difficult. Goodness gracious. Taxes, am I right? Is that gonna work? Are we gonna back up any further than this? I would very much like to, to put it in reverse. Maybe even just like two feet. Can we get two feet? Cool, we got barely two feet. Barely enough to not work. Okay, great. Recall as far as possible. This time I am not going to stifle its uh, backwards momentum. I don't think we're going to go any further. I don't think we're going to go any further. All right, we're steering to the right. 
Hard right, hard right, hard right, hard. Oh, I'm gonna have to burn this thing. Well, maybe I don't have to burn it. Maybe I can just, yeah, rub my body on it for a second, tenderize it nice and properly, and then slap it. Aha! I know the secret techniques of vegetation destruction. There goes our friend right there, our, our little log friend. I don't know what you were, or why you were, but you were. And I am here, because I see these things. So we'll take a pit stop, slice this open with our Reaper, because that's a, a great call. Everyone knows that if you're mining anything at all, do it with a friggin' sword. And while our friend is sailing, let's see if we can destroy these ones, and this time actually use a pounding weapon. Uh, which we don't have a whole lot of, actually. Interesting. I'll use the silver- the silver moblin hammer! It's strong, and I'd rather like to use it on like a talus or something, but... Whatever. Oh, look at our pile of goodies! Look at our pile of goodies! Could we- oh! Get up there. There we go. No, no, that's the hammer! Excuse me, we need- we need the master sword it. Maybe we wanna like pick up these things too while we're standing here. Yeah! Yeah, this is nice! Very convenient! And where's our friend? Our boat friend? Are you coming too? Hi, Bodie. Rock sledge would be nice, but we don't have the room for it. I do like this, uh... This little lazy river situation. It's got us floating down the river. It's quite pleasant. Goodness knows that we haven't had a chance to relax in a long time, so... By golly, if anyone deserves it, it's Link, I think. Yes, you've been electrocuted. Oh, you've been the shooted. Oh, you've been pooted. Who did? You did. Now let's go get those arrows, most importantly, and hopefully something delicious inside of the chest he was cultivating. It's like a like a clam with a pearl, but it's a like like and they just make chests and we ignore them because it's got garbage inside of it, but it's fine. It's still the fun of the exploration. Let us burn this stuff. Demon King's bow. Demon King broke. That's too bad. Oh, oh, please, please, please. Thank you. I'd like to stay on here. Hey, I see more. More of these things. Where are they at? There we go. These little flags. You want to call them that? Take, take, take. No, not the tolanoscopy. Don't be blowing, all right? Goodness me, you shot everything far. Lying forward. How are we going to handle these little... Ah, whitewater rafting, we're gonna get killed. We're gonna drown underneath a friggin' log here. Oh, god dang it! Okay, I was a little bit worried that we were gonna have to, like, float off somewhere. Thankfully, this river brought us exactly where we needed to be. That was fun! That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. And what's more, we've got a crap ton of ore to harvest, so... Why don't we do exactly that, hmm? Again, I, I seek a different harvesting tool other than my silver moblin hammer, which is breaking, too. Rock salt, not necessarily the best thing in the world, but still something. Flint and rock salt, a little bit better. Hey, can we continue the trend? Amber! Golly gee willow, give me this bomb flower, too. Amber is much better than uh, salty flint. And that's all. Okay, so is this going to be frostbite or rubber? Uh, probably rubber armor, to be honest with you, just given the location. And we know that two of them are in Hebra. Rubber helm! It looks like a fish. Oh boy. <laughs> an electric, or a helmet made from ancient techniques and electricity resistant material. It's made from something called rubber, a material that can no longer be found. Why is that? Why can the rubbers no be... Why, why is rubber gone? Very strange problem. Anyways... Go team. We have succeeded. We can get rid of the, uh, the pot spot. And now we head on northeast to this one. Talus Plateau. Let's go to this, the, the, the Yomazuk Shrine. I know that the, uh, the shrine slightly to the northwest may have been a little bit more convenient since it was elevated and we could float down to the location, but the fact that a location was called Talus, anything Talus, like that, I mean, I may be jumping to conclusions there, but I hazard a guess that there's going to be at least one talus there? Perhaps? I mean, obviously I've been there before. But goodness gracious, if I have an opportunity to slay a giant rock beast housing precious gemstones inside of its appendix, well, golly gee williker, I wouldn't be an adventurer at all if I declined that opportunity, now would I? Now where? The opposite direction. Okay, very good. <laughs> 
up here. It's a, uh, it's a very foggy evening. Morning. I mean, what what is the early morning if not the late evening? Where do we draw the line, huh? Is it when the clock shifts from a P to an A? Goodness me, I can't say. Hi there, Patronus. What's up? You gonna jump off the cliff? Where are you going? You gonna scare your wife? It's not very nice. All right, see you later. It's very nice meeting you. Uh, Talus. Talus Plateau. A Talus, no, no. It's the Korok Plateau. The Korok ate the Talus, apparently. What a terrible name for this place. Wait, what is this? This looks like a big rock, but it doesn't look like a Talus sort of arena. Talus? Daddy? No Talus. How positively disappointing. Well, there probably was a Talus there in Breath of the Wild, and as things changed, you know, with the upheaval, the Talus sucked down into the pits of hell, and is now presently fighting a Balrog. So, inside of this? This is a strange one. We have been here, too. Look, there's another Korok that we have unleashed upon the world. What was that? Wait, 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 what was that? What's that thing flying? Oh, it's a gold. Do we have a photo of the gulls? Oh, no, we don't. Mmm. Mmm. Please? Please? Can I have the photos? I need to document your existence for Robbie. Robbie doesn't know anything about the birds, except he does have photos of them, because he could sell me photos of everything. But I just want them for my own collection. Can I have you guys, please? No? Why can we not- why are they not triggering the, the goodness? We seem closer. There we go! I was like, holy cow, we're closer than we were on the mountain and it's taken forever to register! Oh, we got it. Thank giblets. Now, are we... We are here. It says right here. We go... We go down! We sure indeed. As Fallout Boy said. We The Horon Lagoon Lake! Who's a Horon? That sounds like a slur for the Gorons. Uh, let's get a bow out. We'll use the Zorro bow. Get in the water! You sick boy. You need to bathe. Get deeper in the water! Get over there! Goodness me, you've gotta fully submerge yourself, man! Is that... Is that cracked rock? I can't... No, that's just... that's just the wall. Okay. Got these. Uh, I'm guessing we're gonna have to go down that direction, but first, let's poke around to the main room. Just to see if there's anything here for us. Doesn't look like there really is, except for bright bloom seeds and bright caps. Cool. We've got a lot of bright bloom seeds, too, by the way. When I was doing the, uh, the selling so that I could buy... Is this water raising? Oh, the water is raising! Goodness me! Uh, and my cheeks are brazing. Give me, give me a raft before we... Give me a raft! <laughs> ah, we almost drowned! Did you see that? Did you see that, Manero? She's like, what the heck are you talking about? This is the hero? <laughs> I saw my life flashing before my eyes! Anyways, where was I? Uh, when I was selling things so that I could buy the armor at Rito Village, the snow quill stuff, I was looking at my uh, materials and I have like 800 friggin' bright bloom seeds. So, if we ever really do need to sell anything, those are a good one to do. Huh. Oh, are we going over? Oh, we're going over. Wow. Okay, boat. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to, to, to settle and diddle. And the boat's like, no, we're going over. Launch, you know, Bo. You know, Bo. Oh, you came back too late. Jiminy Christmas. Well, you're going to make me throw a precious bomb at this thing. Because I think that's the way we have to go. There's a, a spear right there, which is interesting. Although, I just think that that is probably where they would afford you the opportunity to launch a bomb arrow. Little do they know, we've got a boat friend. Ha <laughs> ha! And our powers know no end. We've got our prize in this one markedly quicker. Does this complete the rubber set? It does! These invaluable tights are resistant to electricity. Again, made with a foreign object known as rubber. Amazing. Well, I hate to leave you here, Brian. No, no, no. Brian Bocoblin. Beatrice the boat Because you did some very good things with those spikes very impressed, but It's time to move on to the rest. Let's get rid of the pot spot and head on to the Northwest Uh, Which one should we do first? Let's go. Well, let's look at the skies there because nothing really looks Convenient as far as warps 
this one right here. Yeah, that's a convenient spot. And we could get... We could get rockets. Rockets and what else? We could get rockets and flame emitters. Let's do that! Alright, anytime we can get rockets is a great idea. And flame emitters are... Probably not as useful, or at least I don't use them as often as I used to. But hey, still good to have, right? Good to have. And when the time comes for us to go on our extreme material harvesting spree, uh, I probably will want to recreate... Well, Beamy. And Beamy had a flame emitter, so we'll need a few of those. Especially when I decide to test the limits, right? Because I don't want to have to, to auto-build like in earnest beamy because if you remember beamy required like 200 something pieces of zonite <laughs> ah, we got a lot of zonite man but that's just not an efficient use of it all right so if we have a bunch of the parts perhaps we can make multiple beamies you see what i'm saying we got a rocket a flame emitter a few flame emitters and two rockets total cool that's fine let's go down Whee! where are we going right below us oh hey there's a gliok What's up, dude? Sketchy demon. All right, we are freezing. I don't want to get rid of my excellent look here, though. What could go? Probably the pants. Okay, fine. I guess, dude. Whatever. Uh, question, dude. Do we want to put the archaic warm greaves on or the snow quill pants? Which are where? Which are... Which are where? Oh, right here. Okay, I was like, what? I bought them. <laughs> oh, we need to put multiple on? You salad? Fine. We're keeping the hood. We're keeping the hood. Gosh darn it. And we are essentially right above it, so it's going to be probably on this wall somewhere. Keep your eyes peeled, team. No one's looking the right direction except for the camera. It's fine. I'll help you guys out. Um, we've been here before. We've definitely been here before. And it is hard as heck to see. We're getting far away from where it is. I don't... Maybe we should rely upon our sensor? It could be up there and I just didn't see it. Let's drop a little more. Yeah, I got nothing right here. Absolutely nothing. Wait, I got something! I got something! Ah, keys! What do we got here? Hello, buddy. The welcoming crew. Lake Kelsey Cave. I think I went to school with a Kelsey. Or was it Kelsey? Who's to say? Goodness gracious, it's been a long time. And it's taking a long time to kill this guy. Wow. We gave him the old spingle dangle. Got an icicle spear? That's pretty neat. Okay. Inward. I see spire this direction. This looks like it might be another challenge, like how it was to find the fierce deities. What was it? Chest plate? Inside the tree? We kind of had to roam around for it. Oh, oh, we got an updraft here? Hold the phone. Let me just, let me just ride that momentarily. What we got here? You wanna go in here? I guess we could work top to bottom. Ah, uh, this is occupied. Alright, sorry, buddy. You can hang out in there. Uh, let's... Yeah, work, work top to bottom. If we can work down incrementally, we should avoid missing anything, right? There's another opening here, which requires a bomb flower. Thank you, Bombi. And look at that, our prize. Oh, it makes me want to squeeze my thighs and excuse many sighs. A relief, because we could have, you know, taken a heck of a lot longer to find this than we did. Boom shakalaka. The frostbite headdress made for ancient rituals. This item's cold absorbing cloth produces frost in low temperature environments. That sounds counterintuitive. Alright, if I'm already freaking freezing, I don't want to be wearing something that's spitting out frost. Trying to give me pneumonia something here? What's the, what's the deal, buddy? So we need to head here. Eh, Corvash Park. They look to be like on roughly equal elevations. But perhaps we can... Perhaps we can game it in such a way that'll help. You know, we do have rockets now, thanks to our little extravaganza there in the sky. We have at least two that we could use to help us fly. I think that would be a, a good idea, at least to start. 
Let's get our wits about us, however, prior. Before we start, you know, utilizing precious resources, of which we have precious few. This way? It's this way. Mmm. Go around. <laughs> yeah, if you can go around instead of over, I think that is something you should explore. Oh, hey, buddy. Use a little red, Boko. Oh, you got no business here, buddy. Good night, sweet prance. Oh, you had a backpack full of ice crystals, too, huh? Oh, no. You gotta go, too. And you. Oh, no, that's it. Everyone needs to go. Stop living. Stop that. No, no, no. No, no, no. You gonna smack me with a stick? Oh, it makes me sick. I'm just gonna take the body parts. You guys handle that guy for now, okay? Thank you very much. I do appreciate your team. You guys don't need the meat now with you being dead and all. And what was in your chest? Dragonbone Boko Bow. Not too shabby. It's better than the Zora Bow we are currently using. Hi there. Die there. Ha ha! It's a rhyme! Never done that before. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. What do we what do we need here? Um, a weapon. This one's about to break, so we may as well break it. It's the horn of his friggin' cousin. Oh, oh no! Oh god, how graphic he's plummeted. Goodness me. He's disintegrated. You see that? He lost his entire body. It became just his headpiece floating down the mountain. How sickening. Okay, so we need to go directly that way. Let's do a, a quick little one of these. Oh, 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 oh. Hold the phone. I mean, I guess I did place that kind of terribly. <laughs> Let's place it, uh, there. Okay. Yeah, so we do. We absolutely do want to shrock it. Let's just grab one of them then. Or actually, don't we... No, we do not. Okay, I thought we might still have one, but apparently... Apparently it's since been... You... Hold the phone here. Hold the phone, I am... Just stop it, please! Please, no! You got me all stressed out here, man. I gotta, like, I gotta switch my shield. <laughs> oh, I saw my rocket rolling away and my hairline, too. Okay, ZL, perfect. Now we have averted disaster. And we can go over here and plaster more successful trips to grab clothing. This should be the final piece of the Frostbite set. Obviously, earlier in the episode, we completed the rubber. After this, I think we have... Oh, goodness. Uh, eight? Eight pieces of clothing total left? Goodness gracious. We're making very quick progress. Quicker than I thought, to be honest with you. When I first set out on the clothing quest, I thought that perhaps it would give us maybe an episode per piece of clothing. Lo and behold, that's been not the case. Uh, we we're about to get four pieces of clothing in one episode today. Not a bad thing. Not a, not a bad thing, you know. Uh, I'd like for the Let's Play to hit 300 episodes, but goodness gracious, that might not be the case. That water looks cold. Discovery. Hebra Headspring Cave. Headspring, huh? Where is our headpiece? We just got the headpiece, didn't we? We need the, uh, the, the... The leg piece. Something tells me it's that direction. Call Dodge. Do we have your photo, sir? We do. Okay, well then you've got to go. And your sibling, too. Oh, the sibling is so audacious! It dodges! How dare it! Wasting my arrows for shame! Oh, wait. Wait, there's pillars on both sides. And why are there platforms? Did the frozen body of the keys spawn up platforms? Interesting. I think that's exactly what happened. That's pretty wild. Anyways, uh, we could go that direction. We could go this way. And that would be it. Both of them are kind of housed behind slippery surfaces. Will this the froggy armor affect it here? I'm curious. Let me uh, let me read the froggy armor once more just to double check what it actually says. Uh, prevent slipping on wet walls. I don't. I don't know if these count as wet. Let's eat some some cold resistance food here. Is this wet or is it icy? Either which way, it doesn't matter. We hopped over it. And okay, this is this is the uh, the bubble frog's room. Excuse me, sir. I didn't mean to intrude. 
on your on your sense of privacy there. So if we Oh, we freeze in that. <laughs> Please get out of the water, Link. Can we hop over this? Ugh, we slid all the way back down to where we were. And the froggy armor froggy armor is helping. I still just need to uh, to time up the jumps properly. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Look at this. We've received our prize. The frostbite trousers. Those look like pants my wife wears. Made for ancient rituals, the item's cold-absorbing cloth produces frost in low-temperature environments. Let us put on our new fangled get-up. Uh, where is the, the middle piece? Um, definitely don't have this menu screen memorized. Cool, there we go. The frostbite set. So not only do we have the frostbite set, which is modeled after Nadra, but we have Farash's charged set and almost all of Dinral's ember set. Goodness gracious, we are going to have to get the chest piece for that. But maybe that's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know. Who's to say what clothing we'll get tomorrow? Because there are more clothing pieces than I think we can get in any one episode. Either which way, whatever the case may be, the next piece of clothing we are going to get is going to happen then. So, thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. And I hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, well, bahee ba doo ba doo. And I'll see you next time.